Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we explore the connection between sensory decline and dementia risk. The key point is that if you can't smell roses, read books, hear soft voices, dementia risk rises in the following years. Many old adults accept sensory senses to see, hear and smell decline, as an inevitable part of aging. In fact, by the age of 65, about one in three older adults may face vision issues. Nearly 50% of people older than 75 experience disabling hearing loss. Loss of smell, known as anosmia, or phantosmia, which perceiving smells that aren't present, likely to smelling smoke can impact daily life, affecting taste and safety. For most cases, these sensory changes don't necessarily affect cognitive health. Recent research suggests hearing loss, sight loss, and smell loss are all associated with an increased risk of dementia and could also be tied to brain health. Sight loss and dementia, plasma proteins predict dementia up to 10 years before diagnosis. Age-related macular degeneration raises dementia risk by 26%, cataracts by 11%, and diabetes-related eye diseases by 61%. Scientists recently made the case for including vision impairment as a risk factor for dementia. With existing vision treatments, some of dementia cases could possibly have been prevented. With vision loss, older adults stop driving, stop going out, have difficulty reading, and don't exercise as much because they're afraid of falling. Untreated vision problems really reduce social interaction and physical activity which are all risk factors for cognitive decline. Causes of sight loss in people with dementia include eye conditions such as cataracts or macular degeneration, other health conditions like stroke, and normal age-related changes in the eye. Symptoms of sight loss can overlap with early signs of dementia, can directly affect the brain regions responsible for processing visual information, leading to visual problems. Even when the eyes themselves are healthy, in recent years, Studies focus on the connection between retina and the brain, using optical coherence tomography, OCT for clues about cognitive health and the risk of brain disease. Retinal study focuses to develop retinal biomarkers for earlier screening of people at risk for cognitive impairment. Other researchers found that cataract extraction was significantly associated with a lower risk of dementia development. Initial studies have shown obvious differences in retinal nerve fiber thickness between cognitively healthy older adults and people with Alzheimer's disease and related dementias. Researchers have discovered the first evidence of the specific diagnostic signs of Alzheimer's disease-related amyloid beta protein plaques in retinas from Alzheimer's and mild cognitive impairment patients. The findings show increased retinal amyloid plaques and associated retina, blood vessel and nerve cell degeneration in patients. Compared to cognitively healthy individuals, hearing loss and dementia, hearing loss ups dementia risk by 22% in 5 years. Hearing is connected with brain health. Untreated hearing loss contributes to cognitive decline in older adults, with the 2020 Lancet Commission on Dementia ranking hearing loss as the single largest, potentially modifiable risk factor for dementia. Addressing hearing loss may help reduce the risk of dementia. Untreated hearing loss requires the brain to putting effort, straining the compensating brain networks typically utilized for memory and cognition. This strain, termed cognitive load or effortful listening, can overwhelm cognitive functions. Untreated hearing loss in older adults frequently leads to efforts to avoid the embarrassment of communication challenges in social settings or daily activities like shopping. This avoidance behavior can result in social isolation reducing sensory stimulation and potentially causing shrinkage in the brain's sound processing areas. The researchers suggest that for older adults is to protect hearing from loud noises, and to self-monitor own hearing regularly or get it checked by a professional. If individuals are diagnosed with hearing loss, get it treated. Smell loss and dementia, loss of smell precedes Alzheimer's symptoms by 10 years. The sense of smell is closely linked with memory possibly more so than any of our other senses, and smell loss anosmia is common in older adults. Smell loss could exacerbate confusion in people with dementia, making diagnosis more challenging. Up to 40% of dementia cases may be influenced by risk factors, including sensory impairments like smell loss, 
Scientists found that poorer scores on smell, sensitivity tests predicted mild cognitive impairment and had connections to dementia-related pathology, seen in brain scans. Change in the sense of smell can serve as an early warning sign for neurodegenerative diseases. The researchers found that loss of smell, sensitivity correlated with biomarkers of Alzheimer's, including the thinning of tissue in the regions of the brain associated with memory. They also found that decline in smell, sensitivity was a warning signal that showed to develop mild memory cognitive impairment. The researchers highlight that smell loss in neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's or Lewy body. Dementia is typically noticeable immediately, whereas smell decline related to Alzheimer's disease progresses gradually, often escaping immediate detection. Dual sensory impairment. Recent research suggests that individuals with both visual and hearing impairment known as dual sensory impairment are nearly twice as likely to develop dementia. Dual sensory impairment can worsen social isolation and strain the brain regions involved in cognitive function. Dual declines in vision and hearing pose significant risks to brain health, with individuals experiencing both forms of impairment being at a heightened risk of developing dementia, compared to those with no sensory issues. Moreover, those with simultaneous declines in hearing, vision, and smell face an increased risk of progressing to Alzheimer's disease, compared to those with impairment in only one sense. Studies have shown strong links between lower combined sensory test scores and a higher risk of dementia, even among those with mild sensory loss. Despite this, many older adults may not take vision and hearing loss as seriously as other health conditions, such as diabetes or cardiovascular disease. Despite the fact that these impairments are highly treatable, in summary, maintaining good sensory health especially vision, hearing, and smell is essential for overall brain health and reducing the risk of dementia. In the future, technology could replace natural sensory organs with artificial ones like retinas, cochlea, and olfactory implants. For now, regular vision and hearing checkups and treatment are vital for quality of life. Older adults experiencing declines in their sense of smell, vision, and hearing, especially if there's a family history of Alzheimer's or dementia, it's crucial to consult a doctor. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and stay informed.